Hello Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's going on for you. This is for mid-August. Okay, so the overall energy is the Page of Wands. You have communication coming in. This could be you receiving or giving communication, so we'll see. You have the Nine of Coins on your side. They have the Seven of Cups. Interesting. All right. I feel like this person may see, like, like I get this communication about, like, long-term. Page of Cups, Ten of Coins. Like, somebody's viewpoint has changed about you or a situation or you've changed your mind. What is the Knight of Coins? Star card, the Five of Swords, and the Eight of Coins. Some of you have been ignoring this person. Like Some of you have been like, I'm just going to focus on work. I'm not going toward this person. Um, I'm getting things done. This person may wonder with the Seven of Cups what you're doing or where you're at. Maybe even like just not talking to them. Three of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Ace of Coins. Okay. Yeah, whatever this represents over here, the Eight of Coins. I mean, obviously it can represent you working, making money focusing on yourself. It's kind of like this person is feeling hurt now, but all of a sudden, like you're not paying attention to them. You have other things going on. They're wondering about you. They're kind of hurt that you're no longer giving them your attention. And now they're kind of seeing the situation differently. Why is this all happening? Because of the six of coins, because they probably gave you very little in the past. This is probably breadcrumbing you. So what is the six of coins? Wheel of Fortune, the six of wands, and the two of coins. I kind of feel like in the past this person gave you very little and now you are like juggling them and something else or you you know like I feel like you're kind of giving them a hard time or like you're kind of like you know I have other things to do I'm too busy for you right now the six of wands and so it's kind of like it came back around like they weren't giving you the time of day I feel like before so now you're not giving them the time of day because you have just too many things to juggle too many things to do what is this two of coins really quick Seven of Wands, Four of Coins, and the Star. So again, this could be you pushing them away and they're still hanging on thinking about you, hoping you'll come back. Or again, it could be you thinking about them because even though you're focused on other things and you're happy, you may still miss them and wish they were around. But again, I get this kind of facade of like, you're too busy for them, even if you're not really. But maybe you are. Maybe you are. Maybe your work has picked up. Maybe you got a lot of uh, money coming in. This, could, this again is mid-August. So you could have a big boost in your money uh, a lot more orders, a lot, lot of money coming in. So just an FYI, maybe you are starting a business or something and it's just really taking up a lot of your time. What's the Eight of Coins? Ten of Wands, Knight of Wands. Yeah, it could just be that, yeah, you have too much to do and if this person is going to come in as a Knight of Wands, you just don't really have time for that. It's just too much work for you. They could be an earth sign or they have very little to offer or they're very immature or something like that. So I get kind of like you're just like, I'm, I don't really, you feel like you really don't need them right now. What is the Ace of Coin for them on their side? Hierophant, the World, and the Two of Swords. Yeah, they're kind of seeing you like slip away is kind of what I'm seeing. With the Seven of Cups as the overall energy for this person, they're kind of like losing you and they're kind of surprised. At the same time, they don't really know what to do. And again, the Ace of Coin is kind of like you shut them out for something else, something different, something better. It's showing me work here and money, but it may be another person or, you know, it could be anything. But yeah, they may see like, oh my gosh, this is over. How do you feel about this person? Oh my gosh. You see them as you're you're dead to them, like you're or you're over them completely. They could be a Scorpio, but I think that's like you're just over this person. Wow. How do they view you? Justice. Like you got back at them. Maybe you're dating somebody new soon. So this person knew what they were doing when they weren't giving you very much of their time or their money. Or not money. I don't know why I said that. Because the six of coins. Whatever they did, they see that you kind of like got revenge in a sense. Even if you weren't trying, I kind of get like you just, you got what, they got what they deserved. You see this person as the death card, like if things are over for them. Tower, the Eight of Cups walking away into the sun. Now this can also be changed though. So then if you see them as like really hard times hit, maybe they walked away and they have changed with the death card. Could be one way. If not, you know that by letting this person go, maybe you are happier. What is the Justice card? This is how they view you. Moon, High Priestess, Three of Wands, one more please. Page of Swords, ooh. See, this person knows that they did you wrong. And again, I don't, I'm not saying this person cheated or, you know, I just feel like they kind of like gave you very little to keep you kind of going along and now, I feel like they see like you have some type of 
Like, I'm surprised the magician's not here. I don't want to use the word magic. I think you manifested. I think you have, like, you're in touch with how to manifest and make things happen with the high priestess and moon. I feel like you got help from the universe when I see these two together. And I get, this is like a tongue lashing. Like, when I first saw this, I got, like, very sharp words from you to them. Like, if they even think about saying anything to you or... um blaming you or you know like saying oh that's not true or whatever like i feel like i feel like they're just not gonna say anything to you they're not gonna go against you like they know that you know that they know you know what i mean like like they try to get one over on you they definitely see your value now though is what i'm getting they definitely with the ten of coins remember how i said in the beginning they're seeing things differently with you they see like long term or they see that you can make money or they see that you're um independent you know you've got you don't need them, especially if they're, you know, not there for you. They, they're a player, the bad behavior. What is the potential outcome? Four of swords, so resting. Okay, so I don't necessarily get that this relationship is over. I get this person has learned a lesson about how they treated you, and they now see you in a new light. What is the four of swords? Because this is not taking any action. This is waiting. Six of coin, ten of wands. Yeah, so you're seeing that this person maybe they're seeing it too, that by just giving you very little, it was a pain in the ass. It put more pressure on you in this relationship, more work was on you. And now you're deciding six of swords to move on. Now you could be moving away from this person, back to this person, smoother waters with this person, whatever. It's up to you. So keep that in mind because I think some of you, you're going to have a big like boost in your money. So that's going to help you move away from this person if you want or whatever. It's just, it will change the dynamics. What is the page of swords for you? This is, again, this is how they see you. I mean, they may see you spying on them, but I really just don't get that with this page of swords. I don't think, yeah, chariot, three of swords, six of cups, the six of wands. I feel like you're watching them come back to you. Either that or you're, they're watching you move on. They're watching like, they're, they're watching themselves lose you. But you have victory. Okay, what is this sun over here for them? Magician, the seven of wands, the knight of coins. You start with the knight of coins. Ten of wands is coming up again and the ace of cups. See, this is kind of how you view them, but at the same time, I feel like this is how you're viewing yourself. Like, how what's going to come out of the situation? You're going to manifest a new path because this other person, and maybe they are an earth sign, maybe they're very slow, but you're going to, I think you're going to manifest for a lot of you new love out of the situation. This person, I mean, down the way probably will, but right now, I just feel like they're very confused. Like, they can't believe that you moved on the way you did and that you're doing so well for yourself and... That you kind of like see through their facade or their games. I don't get like this is a hurtful person. I don't necessarily. I mean, and I see other readers saying things like that. Oh, they didn't mean to hurt you. Oh, yes, they. some people do. Yes, they did. This person, I don't have seven of swords. I don't think I don't have five of swords. I, I feel like this person was just very careless. They were very lazy. And they would take the easy way out. They never thought that you would get up and, you know, start something new, a new business or move on. So I feel like they could just kind of get away with it like because you put up with it for so long and now you're not putting up with this behavior anymore and now you're just like you know your worth is definitely what I'm seeing here and I see new love. Let me see again. Who is this Ace of Cups? Anything you can tell us about this new love? Look what's under here. Two of Cups. But let's shuffle that. You may have two options. I just saw the Two of Coins. Yeah, he's back under here. You may have a fire sign that you are tired of dealing with. Ten of Coins, Ten of Swords. So this and... Ten of Cups, wow. So, but you may have two people then by the end of the month. You may have this fire sign coming back in, and then you may be opting for somebody new. What is Ace of Cups? Yeah, full. Even though you're sad, there's communication. This person, again, okay, so like this person doesn't want to let you go. So this could have been a kind of a codependent, toxic type of relationship. You let this person kind of do whatever they wanted. You never really expected a lot out of them. They're coming back to hit you up to see what you're doing, where you're, where you're going, why you're not talking to them. They could be a Capricorn specifically. So it does look like they are sad. They're missing you. 
They want to communicate and reunite because again, got the page of coin here. So maybe they're an earth sign, but this could also be, I'm getting a second person coming in for you. Ace of wands. So I'm definitely getting by the end of the month, beginning of September. Yeah, you're a good catch. You may have two people interested in you. You may know both of them. One is an ex. One is, um, again, because Ace of Wands is, might be somebody you already have a little bit of chemistry with. You already know who they are. Or they might be totally brand new. Either way. Because I'm seeing here, like, where did you go? And then, well... And that may be what I'm seeing here. Fire sign and an earth sign. Yeah, Page of Cups. Walking away, though. Temperance. Ten of Coins. Yeah, this person here, um, they're going to be very, because I split the deck, Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups is behind it. Yeah, there's somebody else around you. Could be, um, yeah, look at the past with the Ace of Swords, a new person with the Ace of Cups. I'm getting very clearly for you guys two people by the end of the month. And this, the past person is definitely going to be disappointed and shocked when you move on. In fact, I don't think they're going to expect it to hurt this much is what I'm getting. Especially the longer you've been with this person. For some of you, maybe, maybe it has not been that long. They're still going to be disappointed. If it's been a relationship like up to like 10 years, more or less, this person is just thinking that you would have never left them is what I'm getting. But I feel like you put up with them for a long time. And then finally, it's like, and I think that way you might be sad or this is the past. Six of Cups, Three of Swords is sad to lose you. But either way, so you have choices here. And again, I felt like I want to give the person from the past the benefit of the doubt because they have death. Like maybe they have changed. But I'm definitely seeing that if you walk away, you will go into the sun. You will be happy. So I want to see how the past person feels. I don't want to extend this one. I like to do that kind of stuff and extend it, but I don't. I'm trying. I don't want to. How does this past person feel about you? Let me go to this deck. I haven't used this one as much. How does the Knight of Wands feel about you? Because I feel like this is the past person. Four of Wands, five of Swords. Yes, six of Swords. Hanged Man. You gave this person stability in more ways than one. But they took it for granted with the five of Swords. And they thought they'd always be there. I'm sorry. You would always be there when you, they came home. Even if you don't live together. It's just, you know. But I feel like they would, would go off and play. Like they would, like they're not running away. They're not being naughty, Six of Swords, but they're definitely turning their back toward the stability you gave them. And like they're out fishing, they're out on the lake, whatever they're doing. But also they're seeing you differently now because that was how the reading opened. They see you very differently. How do they see you now? See, it's kind of like you grew. Four of coins to seven of coins, but you were hanging on here, but then moon is here, the hermit, and now seven of coins. It's kind of like you went away in a sense, like you changed. Uh, you went within, soul searching, and now you've got all these coins and seven of coins. You definitely changed with the sun. So for some of you, you may not talk to this person for a while coming up here, or maybe you haven't been right now, star in the Knight of wands. They're coming back in with a lot of passion for you, but they're coming in, I think, hoping to fix this, to reconcile with you. Again, this is that past person coming up with a page of coin. They may see you as a queen of cups, very loving, very loyal in the past. Their wish fulfilled, nine of cups. But um, look, the ace of cups is in here, and it's not even from this deck. But the ace of cups, the knight of cups, like I said, two of swords making a decision, seven of cups. This person is really surprised that you are going to probably in the end full move on. But again, it's up to you, you guys. Totally up to you what you want to do. How else does this past person feel about you? Can you tell us how they how they feel about you? Let me do this one. They're remembering all the good times I'm getting here. Yeah, they kind of regret some of the fights, maybe things they've said. Look at they realize now how st much stability you brought to their life. They see you as their lover. And someone who maybe really you listened to them, you took their needs to heart, is what I'm hearing. You really paid attention to them. You did a lot for them over the years. I think they probably took you for granted. Yeah, you may be leaving, but some of you may not, though. Again, um, 
I don't think there's a third party water sign. I'm not bringing that in. I'm just seeing the cards that are next. I feel you're very emotional though. I feel like they can work on your emotions sometimes. I think that's the only problem. They're going to come back. Now there could be for someone if you're viewing this and you see the Queen of Cups pop up and you know there's a third party water sign. The energy's here because I see sometimes other times in other readings and I was like, I know who that is if it's a third person. So possibly, possibly, possibly. But doesn't mean they're now. That could be the past. This could be something maybe you can't forgive and let go. But if not, if not, this person really knows how much you love them and how emotional you make them. So they're kind of playing on that energy too. That's what I'm seeing. But they're definitely coming back in with the Four of Cups. So I feel like they love you, the past person. I really do. But I feel like they do take you for granted. And they do know kind of how, like your weak spots, I guess you could call it. How to kind of work you. Maybe even lie a little bit here to win you back they may have to do this though because it looks like you're not happy with them i feel like this reading is put pushing you towards new love but that is uh you know up to you but i kind of what i'm seeing is kind of you're fed up and you're done like this person really by leaving them i feel like they will change even more so universe angels spirits and guides how do you feel about this past person or this relationship, success, helpful people, changes. Okay, so I kind of feel like this past person. If you have changes coming in, which you already know. There's somebody who's going to bring in changes for you. So that, again, this could be the new person coming in. Because helpful people can be a person, a group of people, people you know, people you don't know, doesn't really matter. I feel like this past person has changed. I feel like something has happened with them. They have changed. They do see things differently. But again, you may still want to move on. Just I'm hoping this helps. If you're watching this still and you're trying to make a decision, like has this person really changed? I do see some changes with this past person. Not 100%, but no one ever, I think, 100% changes. But they definitely, there's some change here with them. Okay. How will they be in the future? I'm going to do this really quick because I just feel like, how will they be in the future though? How will these changes, will they be in the future? Watching you, four of wands, nine. Wow. I wish you guys could see me pull these. They're worried. Yeah. So, they could be watching you now. Yeah, they do appreciate the stability and the love. They do see that they could have almost lost this. Nine of Swords, Six of Wands. So I kind of think for some of you, you are going to move on. Maybe date someone else, possibly. I mean, it's up to you. But, but I'm seeing this past person definitely does appreciate you more and sees what they could have lost. And they can't believe like they almost lost you. Okay, because here we have the Hanged Man and the Reconciliation card. Oh, the King of Cups is under there. There you are. But again, like I said, I see two people. I see new love for a lot of you. Okay, I do. I feel like it may already be around you. Someone you may be getting to know right now or someone who's coming in very shortly that there's a spark, there's Ace of Wands, there's chemistry there. So keep that in mind also if you want new love. So I'm going to leave it here, you guys. Have a really good week, and I'll talk to you soon.